Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a different video than what I've done before. Usually I'm doing like makeup or like my baking videos, which I still love to do and we'll be doing more of those in the future. But today I wanted to do a preg first pregnancy or in second, third, fourth, whatever pregnancy, but pregnancy, hospital bag, coming home, early days, mommy and baby essentials for me personally. Everybody's different. Everybody likes different things. Also depends on what time of year you're having your baby. So, but I'm just gonna go through some of the things that I had during my pregnancy and at the hospital and coming home, early days. Some things I thought I needed, didn't need, things I didn't think I needed, actually needed. So, like I said, everybody's different in what they find as essential. So I hope you like this video and keep on watching. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is when your belly starts growing because for quite a while you can get away with you know just your normal clothes like okay just wear the jeans that are a little bigger or maybe just walk around in leggings more. I got away with that for quite a while. I was so sick my first trimester even into my fourth month so sick. I'm not kidding when I say I lived off of ginger ale, Gatorade, and saltine crackers. That is all I could stomach. So it was quite a while before I, I was like in month five before I needed like maternity clothes. But some things I found that I really liked, one is, I forget what these are called, but I seriously just like looked on Amazon like maternity undershirts or go undershirt camis, whatever, maternity, pregnancy, you'll find them. So it's like, almost looks like a tube top. I got this, it was a set in three colors. I got it in white, gray, and black. So what this does is you just slip this over or pull it up like over your pants. I'll set up here so you can see it better. So you would just put this over here like this and then obviously you don't wear it over top of your top like I am right now. You'd wear this under and then you put your t-shirt, your sweater, whatever over top of it so that when your jeans are hanging a little lower and your shirts are sitting a little higher because you're starting to get a little baby gut, this helps that. And it also, even if my stomach wasn't hanging out in a shirt, it just kind of made me feel a little, I don't say want to say slimmer, it didn't make me feel slimmer, but just more held in because especially once I started getting nice and round, it just kind of smoothed that over. It just kind of felt like it was keeping me in there. I felt secured in it, I guess would be a good word. So this is the brand Expecting Comfort. It's cotton, 92% cotton, 8% spandex. So yeah, so it comes in you know, obviously different sizes and stuff. You can buy these in all different colors, all different patterns. I, for my undershirts, I like the basic colors. So I liked the white, the gray, and the black pack. Another thing is, this is just a normal pair of shorts here, but this is a trick. I know tons of people have seen this, but here's what I did when my pants were getting a little too snug. Just zip them up as much as you could which towards that ninth month, it's like, you can't. And then I would take a ponytail and I would just hook it over the button and I would twist it as many times as I needed for the, depending how big I was. And I twisted it to make it tighter. Put it through the buttonhole and then you would just pull it around. I'm making a mess of this. Pull it around and then slip that over. So obviously that's not that much bigger at all. But I mean, let me tell you, when you're getting bigger, one inch or two inches bigger on your jeans makes the world of difference. You're suddenly just like, oh, I can breathe. Um, now, this is something, this was a cheapo hack that I did. I already had the ponytails. I already had my jeans. <sighs> something I wish I would have thought because they do buy actual things that are made to do that. It's like a little strip with a little button and all this kind of stuff. They're way cuter. I mean, no one sees it, 
but it's easier than rushing around trying to find a ponytail and then like you're at work like trying to you know do this all up again when you could just because um, I think they have a button on one side and then the button hole on the other so it would just obviously you put this the button of your pants through the buttonhole of the elastic and that's what it is it's elastic you know, and it goes across and then it has a button that goes through this buttonhole so if I do ever get to have another baby that's something I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy because it's just I feel like it would be easier but if you're you know not wanting to spend extra money and that was me because I was four months along when COVID hit the last appointment my husband was able to be in there with me was when we were able to find out the gender that we were having a little boy that was the last appointment so that was in March or February and so then in March is when everything was getting shut down. I still was going to my doctor's appointments, but they said you know, no one was allowed even to come into the building with me. So I was so thankful he got to be there whenever we found out the gender. But I then was not working from March. So I said it was four months along in March. From March until I had him and then my six weeks of recovering, I was not working so I was really really trying to save money so there were a few essential things I'm like this is something I feel I need um, instead of like these these are a huge lifesaver in my opinion because you can buy three of these I forget how much they were but they were like under $30 you can buy three of these or buy more than that and you can wear your older shirts you know you don't need yeah they're gonna get kind of stretched out but you're not having to go and buy like 10 maternity tops um and again if you have the money or just feel like hey i want to buy a whole new maternity wardrobe that's perfectly fine i'm not saying anything against that this is just if you're looking to save some money or just kind of more convenient you know that's totally up to you but so there's just a little hack with the ponytail but like i said i would recommend if you can't afford it maybe just look and buy those things they're not expensive i was just trying to cut corners any way i could the other thing that I did buy and I highly recommend depending on how your pregnancy progresses. Um, we're going to get kind of intimate here. We're going to talk about boobies. <laughs> so I did not get big in the chest until after I had him. Like I got bigger, you know, because I was gaining weight and my milk was starting to come in. But I didn't get, you know, like some girls are like, oh my goodness, like huge after they have, that was me after I had him, where I was just trying to find the biggest bra in my drawer I could find. But for a long time, I could still wear my normal bras. I wore a lot of sports bras, but what I was finding is I was getting bigger here, not necessarily cup size. And so what was happening was this was getting so tight I almost passed out a couple times because I'm just like I can't breathe because this just just squeezing here it would make me nauseous so bra extenders these found off Amazon I'm such an Amazon chick like I buy so I buy everything off Amazon this came in three colors so the black the white and the nude so it has all the different little hooks here and I will show you here this is this right here is a nursing bra so these you can just buy individually. You don't need to buy a bra with it. Um, I don't have a two hook bra with me. I didn't feel like grabbing one. This is a nursing bra, like I said. So this one has the four hooks, but I'll just show you here. So it has my hooks here. So what you would do is on the back, see on the front, it has all the little, I'm not sure what the right word, that's not a hook, the, the little clasp or whatever that it hooks onto. So you, on the back, then it has two hooks. So you would just hook that onto this part here. And just like normal bra, you hook it however tight you need it. So you can kind of keep going out. Again, so you can save some money if you want to or if you need to. And, you know, just give yourself some more bandwidth versus having to go and buy a bunch of new bras because let's be honest bras are not cheap even if you're buying them from the dollar store which I do oh I do remember something I wish I would have bought 
I didn't grab them because I just didn't feel like grabbing every single little thing. Pregnancy jeans. I bought two pairs. I mean, they were a good brand. They were, I'm pretty sure they were like Levi's or something. And I bought the kind where it has the panel or it's not even a panel. It's like a whole thing, like stretchy thing comes all the way up and sits above your belly. I liked it for about two months. It was like, at first they were a little too big on me. And so they just kind of like rode, they slipped down a little bit. And then, what? Kind of like, yeah, rode down on me. And then when I hit about month six and seven, they were perfect. They were comfy. And it was like, oh yeah, I feel like nice and secure. In here. But then eight and nine, they just didn't fit. Then they were like too tight, you know? So they were okay. But I think again, like next time, if I do get to have another baby, I want to get the ones that have the side panels. I've heard so many people say, oh, those are so much more comfortable. So yeah, two things I wish I would have invested in was the little thing for my pants. Maybe I've bought different maternity pants, but shirts, I might next time maybe buy a few shirts. My mom actually did buy me um, a pair just she gifted it to me she just wanted to do it she bought me a pair of maternity like walking shorts because I did a ton of walking to stay healthy and to stay fit during my pregnancy because I was not about to like work out work out but my sweet neighbor let me walk in his driveway all the time and so she bought me a pair of maternity workout shorts those were great. They were so comfortable. And she bought me two maternity tank tops. So I did have some maternity shirts, but like I wasn't going to buy myself any, but they are good. So like I would 100% recommend getting at least a few maternity shirts because they are worth it. You are just more comfortable instead of like squeezing into your old clothes. So there, that is it for pregnancy. Moving on to the hospital bag. Now, I'm gonna grab a drink real quick though, because I've been rambling. This is gonna be a longer video, guys. So if you don't like long videos, I'm sorry, you don't have to watch this. Hospital bag. I packed everything of mine in a duffel bag. My husband had his own bag, and then I had the diaper bag with all of my baby's things in it, just to keep everything separated. Because even if you're not a naturally organized person, let me tell you, it makes the world of difference when you get there. Now, I had to be induced because I, I just was not dilating. And so I was past my due date, I was induced, and we knew that going in. So I, my going to the hospital was just like, all right, honey, let's get, it's almost five, we better head to the hospital now. And put everything in the car, let's go. And you know, other people are like screaming. Other people are having their babies in the car on the way to the hospital. So everybody's hospital story is different. Other people like me are induced or go early or have a C-section scheduled. Everyone's is different. So I would highly recommend make a whole list of everything you need and pack your hospital bag. I'm not kidding, a month in advance. I made a list as soon as you can start planning, start researching good thing, you know, watching videos, looking up on Google, Pinterest has so much information of hospital bag ideas. So there was some things that I read to pack and I was like, oh my gosh, yeah, pack this. And I didn't even need it really. Um, but making a list is a huge thing. And what I did, I made my list of things I needed to make sure I packed the day of and I put that on top of the bag. I kept everything right in his crib here. I had his hospital bag, like his diaper bag that I kept everything in my hospital bag and my husband, he all he needed was like a change of clothes. He just threw that in a bag. So making a list, keeping it right there where you're, okay, got it. This is what I need to pack. This is what I need to grab before we run out the door. Because especially if you go into labor naturally, you don't want to be like sitting there having to think, what else did I need to pack? 
Sometimes people go to labor early. A friend of mine, she just delivered like three weeks earlier than expected. So you don't want to plan, oh, well, my due date is September 5th. And so you're not planning on packing till September 4th. You could go at any time at that point. So like I said, a month in advance, if you can start packing, get as organized as possible before you go to the hospital. So enough rambling about all of that. So some things I pack that I would highly recommend a phone charger, obviously pack your phone. I'm sure you're going to have that on you. Who doesn't have their phone on them, but a phone charger, make sure you got this because not every place has just like the little USB charger thing. Make sure you pack the one that goes into like an actual outlet. That is something I, I had an extra one of these laying around my house. So I had that in my bag, but if you don't have an extra and don't want to spend the money to get an extra one, make sure you write that on your list of grab the phone charger because my labor went really quickly, but you're still there for at least one or two nights. So you're going to want your phone charger. Trust me. Make sure your husband or your boyfriend or whoever's with you packs his phone charger too. Another thing is a hairbrush or a hair comb, whatever you like. Um, that is, you definitely know what those, a hair tie. I had my hair down the entire time. I had it all pretty curled. I had my makeup on because I was getting induced. I was looking good, bringing this baby into this world. But later in the day and the next day after I had my shower and all this, I wanted a ponytail. So bring a ponytail. And also you may want one during labor. You know, if your hair was down already, you you're, might want to pull it up at some point. Deodorant, pack your deodorant. That's something you definitely don't want to forget body spray or your perfume, you know, just pack your stuff. You know. This too. Okay. So my toothbrush here, I bought this little set off Amazon. I'm sure you could find it at the drugstore though, or you can just find the things to make this kit at the drugstore. This also came with a mini mouthwash. So it's the toothpaste, which I use a different kind of toothpaste at home. So that's why this got used like three times, you know, at the hospital, but I still just have it just because I never got rid of it yet. And then this is a little mini toothbrush because that is something I'm like, I'm not gonna wanna have to pack my toothbrush. I had this and my mouthwash and I just put those in my little bag. I, ha I did have a makeup bag with me because I wasn't sure. I'm like, are we gonna wanna take pictures? Am I gonna wanna do my makeup or like touch up my makeup at all? I packed it along but I never touched up my makeup. Like my makeup still looked good after delivery. Thank goodness. So, and then when I took my shower that night, I, I did not put makeup on the next morning, but I did pack along. I don't have any more of these because I used them up. Neutrogena's face wipes because I was not about to pack my whole skincare routine. If you absolutely want to, go for it. This is just what I did. I knew myself and I'm like, I'm not going to want to sit there and do my whole skincare routine. And also I don't want to pack every little thing in my bag. So I just took Nutrigen's. They have, you can buy them in the stores or online, the mini individually wrapped little cleansing towelettes or makeup removing towelettes. I liked, I liked those better than like one of their big packs because I could just stick a couple of them in there versus having a whole big pack. Another thing is, you know, when you first get to the hospital, they're gonna put you in a gown. So I didn't need anything for that. But afterwards, now this kind of depends too on your preference for feeding your baby. I chose to breastfeed. I breastfed for only a few days though, because then I ended up having to go to pumping, but we'll get to that a little bit later. But this is just a little nightgown I bought on Amazon again. And this is a breastfeeding nightgown. So it goes on you like this, obviously. And then this little panel lifts up. And I know it's hard to tell because it's a black dress. But this is like a little crossover V. And then you can just pull it to the side to breastfeed. I love that. It was so convenient whenever they would bring him to me. I could just whip it out there. So, you know, there's so many different styles and designs you can find on Amazon or maternity stores. So just find the one that works for you. That's just one I liked. It was simple, basic, 
and it worked really nicely. Another thing, so for photos, it's such the trend now that you have a matching robe with your baby's matching swaddle. I would have loved to have done something like that, but since I was pregnant and delivering during COVID, I was not working. Again, I was just trying to cut corners where I could, and that was something to me personally, that was not to have that cute matching set, that was not a necessity. I did get a robe though for myself because I knew I would want one anyways. So since I was having a boy, I wanted to get a blue robe. Oh my gosh, I don't know where these fuzzies came from. So this is just a cute little robe here. But what I loved about it, it's a maternity robe. So I can't find the little, you know, the uh, ribbon that goes around it or whatever. Um, but since it's maternity robe, it sits higher up on you, like the rope that goes around it. What is, what do you call that? The tie, whatever, the, the bathrobe tie. It sat up here for your bump versus lower, like most of them do. So you kind of look a little chunkier. I like that it sat up higher. That was more comfortable. Even though I'd already had him, you still have a belly on you. Um, so yeah, so this was just a cute little robe I got. So, if, but if you already have a nice robe at home, just take that. Another thing is, um, you know, pack extra clothes, some fuzzy pants. I wore joggers after I gave birth. Like the next morning, I put on just some like jogger sweatpants because I'm like, I might leave in this and I, I didn't want to step out looking like this. I know so many people say, oh, trust me, when you, after you have that baby right away, you're so dead and exhausted. You feel like you've been hit by a truck. You're not going to care what you look like. I cared still. That's just my personality. So if you want to walk out in these, go right for it. I'm not judging you. Just for me personally, I didn't want to do that. So t-shirt, you know, a bigger t-shirt, because here's the thing, you're not going to walk out of there wearing the same jeans you wore before you were pregnant. That's just not reality. It's not like they show you in the movies and TV shows. So just some comfy sweatpants or something like that. Slippers is another big thing. I didn't pack slippers. I packed these big fuzzy socks, but they have, they're so dirty, don't mind them. But they have like those little grips on the bottom because I get cold so easily and I know hospitals are really, really cold. So I packed big fuzzy socks that kind of doubled as slippers. But if you want just regular slip on slippers, go for it. When I left the hospital, I packed this little dress. I seriously got this dress at the dollar store years ago. It's just a little, one of those little like slip on dresses there. It's like knee length. It's really soft, but it's flowy. And that's what I wanted. I wanted something comfortable to leave in that I felt nice in. Didn't just feel like a frumpy lady who just had a baby. So I really liked that. And I also had a cardigan. I didn't grab it with me right now, but cart get, a, get yourself a cardigan or like a zip up hoodie, something like that. Something easy to take on and off because, I mean, your your temperature is just fluctuating the entire time you're there. And depending on what time of year it is, I live in Ohio, so I mean, it can be 60 degrees in the morning, 95 degrees in the middle of the day, and then like 45 in the evening. So you just never know what to wear. You kind of go, I pack for all seasons. So, but it was July. So I'm like, it's probably gonna be pretty hot, you know, but if I'm chilly, I have my cardigan. I also packed for shoes. I had flip flops because my feet got really swollen. Most women's do get pretty swollen. So like flip flops a little on the bigger side. Um, some things I was told to bring to the hospital by like bloggers, things like that, that I honestly didn't even use was like your shampoo, your conditioner, your body wash, your own towels, your own pillow. I, that's not me. Like if you have a certain pillow you can't sleep without, pack that if you want to. But I'm all about pack as light as you can. So there was definitely things that I did not pack or that I did pack and didn't even need. I did not pack my shampoo and conditioner. They provide that there for you. The hospital will give you so much stuff. At least my hospital did, but most of them do. Like when I was asking my sister-in-law about things, cause I 
you know, I said she has a bunch of kids. So I was like, okay, what, what did you pack? And she's like, mm, hospital gives you a lot of stuff. So things like diapers, they provide diapers for you. Like I packed diapers. I packed so much stuff for him and so much stuff for me. I didn't even need because the hospital's like, no, here, take it. Now the stuff, you know, you're, here's the thing. You're paying for these things that are in your cart because of what they have. It's like a little cart with all this, these goodies in it. And those are yours. So whether you use them or not, you've already paid for them. So you might as well use them. And that's what they were like, take it, take it, take it. And I'm like, uh, they said, everything but the linens are yours. And they said, otherwise it's getting thrown away. Okay. So the diapers, the wipes, my hospital used Huggies. Yours could use whatever, but yeah, diapers, wipes, those were all provided. Um, like a nail file was in there. Um, oh, baby shampoo and body wash, my shampoo and conditioner. Um, and they bring you a lot of stuff out. Yeah, grant this stuff, they're charging it. They're charging you, you know, but it is useful things. Um, oh, I forget what they're called, but they're these little pad things. It's like like thicker it's like the this thick real feels thin but it's like this little round circle I forget what they're called now because I don't have them anymore obviously but they're like soaked in this like medicinal stuff and you put those like in with your pad and it's very cooling down there on you they also give you like a spray to kind of help everything down there a peri bottle they give you one now I'm gonna I packed my own I did use the one they provided for me at the hospital but I, I liked my own better, but they'll give you a Perry bottle. Um, so yeah, they even a water bottle. That's the other thing. So many people are like, pack a water bottle. They give you one and you take it home. That's what they're like, do you want it? And I was like, no, they're like, we're just going to throw it away. And like, why well, I already have one at home. Someone had given me one a long time ago. And so I'm like, I already have one. I don't need two. That's taking up way too much cupboard space. But if you don't have one of those like big hospital water bottles, they have one there and they're going to give it to you. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff you don't really even need to pack. Something they did, I didn't do this at the hospital. I did this at home, but that the hospital will give to you is a sits bath. We're getting real hospital tech here. Um, so this is something they gave to me. They're like, do you want that? And I was like, well, I never used it. And they're like, well, we're just going to have to throw it away. And that's the thing. Like they can't reuse this stuff because... They're just having to take my word that I said I never used it, but who's going to, you know, they can't be certain that I did not use that. And it's just policy. They got to throw it away. If it was in my room, they have to throw it away then. So might as well take it. And if you don't want it, someone else might need it. This is something I would never pass on to anybody, obviously. But if I had never used it, I might pass it off to somebody, but I did use it. So to go take baby home in then, um, you know, I think I'm actually going to make this into two videos because this video is, I'm already at almost 40 minutes and I know no one wants to sit through like a two hour long video. So I think I'm going to stop this here and I'm going to make this a two parter. So if you want to watch both, that's great. If you don't, I completely understand. So I've pretty much covered though, everything from pregnancy to mommy at the hospital. So I'm going to move in my next video onto more baby, taking baby home from the hospital, baby at the hospital, those first early days. So some baby essentials and some mommy essentials that I consider essentials. So I hope you subscribe to me. I hope you like this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment whether you like this or not. Hopefully you did like it. And I hope you will watch my second my part two video of this they'll be uploaded at the same time or at least like one right after the other it's not like you have to wait a couple weeks for this so hope you like this video and i hope i see you on the next one bye